Uh, I just had the honor recently of entertaining our troops, which, uh, yeah, thanks so much for that. But, uh, so uh, Cub Scout Troop uh, 105 on the west side, uh, Cub Scout Troop 105, I don't know if you've heard about it, but the, uh, oh yeah, they, uh, the boys taught me everything they knew about tie and knots, I taught them everything I knew about making margaritas and a little game called uh, Blackjack. It was kind of a trade-off, and I, I can't prove it, I think the dead mother was starting to make the moves on me, which, uh, <laughs> who could blame her, she was a stinking drunk and I had her favorite medicine. But my, uh, Who used the valet service tonight here at, uh, at the uh, theater? Who used the valet service? Well, that's good, because there isn't one. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> you handed your keys over to somebody, you're pretty much the victim of a general carjacking there, I hate to tell you, but... Uh, here, this is gonna sound selfish. I don't think I'm ever gonna drive my mom anywhere anymore. I, uh, does anyone have a, uh, a, you know, like a loved one? Uh, you're driving, they're the passenger, yet they, they have their own brake over there. They've got their own brake. That's my, every couple seconds I look over and I see her all still doing this, which was, I was doing a fine job. I didn't need to look at that. And uh, so, uh, I'd about had it, really. We had a pretty quick stop coming up and I thought, I'm gonna let her use her brake. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what you got there, Mama Sita. You ever been one of those nightmare flights where uh, everything goes wrong? It's just like you can't even believe these things are, uh, uh, you know, all about love. Well, a baby, a baby cried the entire time. Two hours and 41 minutes. Not that I ran a clock on it, but I did. It was two hours and 41 minutes. And, the, and for example, the, uh, to the point, you know, where even the most mild-mannered person gets annoyed, that's how this was getting. The, the pilot, he was no longer Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky when he came back on. And, <laughs> this is uh, Cap Jerry. We are comfortably cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet above sea level. If somebody's gonna shut that kid up, I'm gonna take this plane up to 80,000 feet and we're all gonna have a little trouble breathing. So, you <laughs> might wanna consider some teamwork on this, ever. I think I might have been involved in road rage uh, the other day. Uh, do, you know about, do you know about that? Okay, I'm gonna pull you right in, because uh, I don't know if this is, I really don't know, because uh, the deal was I, was I was pumping gas at a gas station, and I was then I'm leaving the gas station area. Uh, I don't know what you guys call it, I call it the gas station area. And I'm um, leaving the, uh, but I look in my rearview mirror, just coincidentally, I guess at that time, I saw I left my gas cap door open. Uh, you know the door that hides the gas cap? I, I don't know what you guys call it, I call it the gas cap door. And um, it was pretty cold, so I thought, I'll just close that when I get home, what's the big deal? No, that wasn't good enough for this other driver who pulled up next to me, not once, but twice, <laughs> gesturing wildly. Y y your gas cap door's open. I had no choice but to sideswipe him. I don't know, uh, uh, 